Ladies and gentlemen, Kiki Mira, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up about 1.2% there. On the S&P Nasdaq did the same, semiconductor up a little bit, Dow 1.2, Russell 2000 did the same, transport up, banks up, energy notably up about 4% there today, biotech also made a move, healthcare's up, home builders up, utilities up a little bit, retail same, emerging market is the only sector negative in today's bullish session, Bitcoin up, gold silver miners are up, however, the miners are up about 2%, uh, dollar down, oil up quite a bit, treasury bond down, VIX is down a little bit. Let's stick with the S&P 500 ETF. Spider, 65 minute chart here. So this is where we closed yesterday. And it looks like we slightly gapped down here right on that midterm moving average. Not to mention, we can see that micro term pivot prior resistance acting as new support on the first and second hour there a little bit of fluctuation on the first and second hour bulls were able to kind of prop itself up utilizing the micro term pivot and the midterm moving average keep in mind midterm moving average is pretty deadly here which we talked about you know yesterday's analysis that this is the impressive resume guy for the Bayers supporting the sellers, and it's this midterm moving average has been the problem. The kryptonite for the bulls for the entire year this year, last couple months, for the first time since early this year, bulls were able to break above and to thrive. Right? Um, so with this move here, what the bulls have accomplished today is quite a bit this is why you know yesterday i was stressing so much emphasizing so much regarding the fact that we needed to see a follow-through to the upside for the bulls what the bears needed to do to kill this momentum by gapping it down to 432 you guys remember 432 they did buy i mean the bears did gap it down to 433 but that wasn't enough 432 was required to kill this momentum that was built up last two hours of trading session yesterday with that slightly gap down bulls were able to utilize some of these micro term and the midterm and then was to prop itself up and made a move here they were able to also get above this pivotal level here you can see prior resistance here all this vicinity and you can see last two hours use that level as potentially a new support and we did close the day pretty strong here at 441. so what can we expect going forward from this level so you can see micro term support still reside but still remaining at 437 438 that's a previous resistance right here my midterm moving average price did get above my midterm moving average which is this guy right here the pink dotted moving average however that pink dotted moving average seemingly as of today things can change is still kind of declining so we can't really say the trend has been fully reversed we got nice momentum yes in the micro term right here this is what the bulls have built up not only that with that we have that higher high here also was able and if i actually go to line chart right there so you can see if we go to line chart we can clearly see that we do have that cultivation of higher high for the first time since last few months of trading here so that's a that's a good progress right but bulls need more we been talking about this down gap here even when we did see this bullish move what did i say as long as this as long as this down gap is open bears ain't going nowhere and what happened tanked right and i'm gonna say the same thing here as long as this down gap is open bears are not going anywhere bears a little bit of a little bit flustered today bulls are getting excited i get that but bears are just waiting to attack again only way the bulls can counterattack 
and keep the Bears trembling and keep the Bears powerless is Bulls need to get up. Fill this gap, all of it, not just partial of it, not just 30, 50, 60, 70% of it. Bulls need to fill the entirety of this down gap. That's the only way to neutralize the Bears. And the Bulls can make a way to the upside. Only problem, though, is that when we look at this oscillator, Bulls have pushed it all the way. Remember what we talked about yesterday, that, that Bulls have one more day of energy, and they utilize it all the way here. So what does this mean? This seems like overbought, K. Okay, you might be asking, yes, we are overbought in the short term. But what the Bulls did, though, they did bring that oscillator all the way to the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of, you know, back testing. So I'm going to go back here, right? I'm going to go to right here. And we're going to see what happened in the past when the buyers were able to bring that oscillator all the way to the top of its band, right? So you can see last time they did that was what? Right here, top of his band. And then another time they did it was right here, top of his band, and then it's right here, right? So that was the extreme overbought level. As you can see, when we did see that extreme overbought level, that's actually not a bearish signal right if you've been watching my video without missing you guys understand right my followers and my members know this when the oscillator reaches all the way to the top it is not necessarily a negative thing it's actually a positive thing because bulls are flexing their muscle they're gaining that confidence because what happens is when the bulls are not able to bring the oscillator all the way to the top, that's when the things get difficult. That's when the bulls are showing weakness. But when the bulls, you can see right here, you can see right here, this one quite didn't get there. You can see right here. But when the bulls are pushing that oscillator to the ceiling, we're going back all the way to the what? Back in, this is October right here, October 2021, you can see how that move came about even here. For at least a couple of days, that bullish run continued. So given this fact, this signal is actually telling us that bulls can continue to push at least a couple more days before they need to reset that oscillator. Doesn't always mean that that oscillator needs to come down all the way to down, all the way to the bottom of its band. They can always kind of do this and bring it up and keep March higher. Bears still got their weapon right here. If this dip gets, this gap doesn't get filled, things can become chaotic. I'm gonna come back for you. We'll reassess the situation. Enjoy your evening and good training tomorrow.